Okay, welcome to Necessary Realness. Welcome to our, welcome, me. Okay, welcome to Necessary Realness. Um, it is our second, um, I'm leaving. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, mama tired, mama tired, mama tired. Welcome to Necessary Realness. It is our second edition doing quarantine style, and today I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite skincare products and makeup, and I'm gonna be answering some of your guys' questions about all of those things. Okay, so maintaining my beauty during quarantine has definitely been a rude awakening. I really had to get out my, um, uh, sharpening my tools. I've had to sharpen my tools. Because I've also come to the sad realization that makeup just does not hold up in front of the camera unless you put a ton of it on. I haven't really noticed a change in my skin to be completely honest because I wanted to get a facial before we were slammed in quarantine and I wasn't able to do that so things are still consistent. But I'm doing a lot of sort of at home remedies but I just need a good, I need a good scrubber brush to the face. So Momo wants to know what a good moisturizer would be for a woman in her mid 30s. Um, I'm not quite there but I am obsessed with Skin Medica. Um, I use their dermal repair cream. I'm somebody that has very strong combination skin so I'm definitely dry in areas but also very oily so that's kind of a tricky son of a to deal with, but this cream is sort of like the quench of all thirsts of creams, which makes sense. So it might be a little bit um, on the pricier side, but I think that skincare, you just kind of got to invest in it because if you invest in yourself, then people invest in you. Should we more, the more you know? So Kenza asked what my fave foundation and concealer is. First of all, I have gotten 17 of these since I've been in quarantine. It's been really crazy. And I love the designer lift by Giorgio Armani and I also love the power fabric and I actually combine them. Um, they're all oil free because mama gets real shiny real quick. I've been mixing the 5.55 and four just to sort of figure out like what shade I am on camera. But these are amazing and they last all day long. And my favorite concealer of all time is the Clay de Peau, um Concealer Stick. This is like cement for your face. It will cover up a bank robbery. It is so, 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 so good. I use um, almond and beige and I mix them and sometimes I just draw them all over my face and buff it in like foundation during the day, which you're not really supposed to do, but I don't care. I'll put it anywhere. It's not anywhere, but it's really good. So Carson Light wants to know if um, I have eyelash extensions or Au Naturel. I do not have eyelash extensions. I have my makeup artist when I'm doing the show put them on individually every single day. I never use a strip lash. I wanna make them very fluttery. I do mediums all around and then I do um, shorts on top of those and then longs in the middle just so I look bushy tail and brat eyed for you guys. Stephanie Johansson asked me what is one product I cannot live without and this is it. I have been using this cream for literally five years. It's the BioClear Face Cream by Jam Marini. I sleep with this every single night after I wash and tone my face, or even if I exfoliate that night. It's sort of like a white, like, night cream, and it sort of has a um, glycolic step in it. It is incredible. It keeps my skin clear and even. I could not say enough good things about this. If you have acne prone skin, if you do not, I would not advise. Lex7799 wants to know what the best investment for your face is. For me personally, I would have to go with the Lightera just because I deal with so much discoloration and, and this is the strongest and best thing I've used and I've really seen a difference in my skin. So it's a pigment correcting serum at the 2.0 from Skin Medica. This stuff is no joke. But other than that, if you're not dealing with discoloration, I would probably go for a really good eye cream because I feel like once those puppies start to go, it's all over. So Juliana wants to know uh, my favorite skincare products for exfoliating and for pore size. Unfortunately, I have the very sad news. Pore size does not shrink no matter what you do. I have larger pores. It's just the reality of life. So I use a Sink Moan Exfoliant um, Seeds and Flowers. It's a Seeds and Flowers Exfoliant and it is so good. I use it probably three times a week. I love it. It's kind of has like a, what does that smell like? It's like a, flowery kind of scent, but it is amazing and it's very fine and you should exfoliate very gently. You should not do it harshly. Um, and then I definitely am a big masker um, and I switch off between the two. I do the Natura Bise um, Intense uh, Essential Shock Intense Mask, which is incredible. There's Pina Colada in it. Maybe I made that up. Maybe it just says Pina, Con Pina, fine, whatever. I'm very um, pro clay masks because it absorbs all of the sort of oil and dirt and deposits that have formed in your skin, um, which is good for big pores because that's what happens. And then I use the Sink Mode again, Kaolin mask as I drop it. And the Kaolin mask is something I've literally used for six years. My facialist gave it to me and I use it probably five days a week. It's the best. 
My overall big beauty hack for quarantine is always, first of all, skincare starts from inside. I drink so much water with lemon, it's obnoxious. So yeah, just sort of keeping myself put all the way together. Thank you guys so much for all of your questions. Make sure that you stay home and stay safe because I need to get back to work as soon as possible because I'm starting to lose my mind. There is a brand new episode of Necessary Realness every Saturday, so make sure you what? Subscribe, subscribe, okay? Did I say subscribe? Don't forget to do that, subscribe. And make sure you check out all of the other videos on the E! News YouTube channel because they are all fabulous.